Hello, it's Becca, and just wanted to share our homeschool room with you today. I've been homeschooling for 11 years now and have four children, ages 3 all the way up to 14. So this is the area where I keep books that relate to our unit studies. And this fall, we are doing a geology unit on volcanoes, earthquakes, rocks, minerals, fossils. And we have our word wall here that I absolutely love to have this for each unit study. And this is all from the good and beautiful that I cut out and laminated. And this is a little kit that came with our geology curriculum, which I will leave in the description down below. But just little samples of pyrite, limestone, quartz, fluorite, aquamarine, things like that. And we also have a game keys of history here. We also have our history unit displayed here and currently learning about ancient Egypt. We have our history book bin here. There's fiction, nonfiction, different activities, replicas of the U.S. Constitution, Emancipation Proclamation, that kind of stuff that we'll also be using this year. I bought these at Rainbow Resources several years back and love these. Um, there's Bill of Rights also, Mayflower Compact. We'll also be learning about the Middle Ages, the Renaissance, the French and Indian War, Revolutionary War, the Victorian era, the, um, the history of flights in the Cold War era. So which wonder, winter is wonderful to learn about history. Um, but in this bin, we mostly have our Egyptian unit books here, and then I'll change them out when we begin our other eras. And this is our geology bin. We have a replica of the Earth, a Professor Noggin's Earth type of science game. We've got books on igneous rocks, metamorphic rocks, sedimentary. All this became, uh, came from Rainbow Resource, I believe. DK books on basically anything that relates to our current unit study. And down here, I have things that are geared more towards my two youngest sons, um, Bohannon, who is age three, and Gunner, who is six. And I bought these bins just recently at the Dollar Tree and love them. They're easy to clean, and I do like the Montessori method to have one type of toy or activity dedicated to one bin. So that way the child can take one bin out, learn and play with it, then put that particular activity back into the bin, return it, and move on to the next activity and this just helps not only encourage self-play and self-discovery for the child but it also helps with their tidy up skills as well have a little felt weather board here geared towards my two youngest sons and this came from little passports I believe which is a subscription box for kids that I absolutely love and then we've got our bulletin board here that I like to change up with the seasons we have a world map um, with my kids names up, up here and these are these days of the week posters I bought off of Amazon and I laminated them put uh, velcro sticky backs on them so that way I can take them off if I want and use them interchangeably with other posters and sometimes the kids just like to sit down on their chair by the table and sing their days of the week's uh, song or months of the year song that we use on YouTube from good and beautiful the good and beautiful which is completely free Here on this side is lots of things. We have a large set of decorative cut scissors for craft projects. And keep in mind too, I've been homeschooling for 11 years now and a lot of this has just been, you know, I didn't buy all this at once, obviously, because this stuff costs, costs money. But if you do, if you're like me who do have multiple children of 
varying ages. Sometimes it's good to just save up money and, and, and buy something of good quality. That way you could pass it down. You know, it could be passed down to your younger children as well. And that's what I've done here. It's just a lot of stuff. Some stuff I bought new this year, obviously. But a lot of this stuff is just is things I've just had for like five years, six years, four years, you know, and just, ha you know, we take really good care of it. My children have their own cubby. They have their own workbooks, journals, all that stuff that they're responsible for. And we have little baskets here with learning bean bags, shapes, number letters, just a lot of tactile, tactile activities here. And the, that muffin tin was really cute. Just good for sorting, counting. I do know that a lot of the stuff is from a vendor called Learning Resources, which I love. You can find them on Amazon. But I'm currently in the process of getting links to everything. Um, I don't have links everything now for this day particular video, but I am in the process of doing that. So please leave a comment if there's any items that you're really interested in, and I'll definitely get back to you with the information. It might take a few days, but I will. Another vendor that I absolutely love is Nature Watch, and I have two boxes here. I have a forest in the box and an ocean in the box. The forest in the box has spruce cones, cocoons, hornet, nest paper, there's porcupine quills, there's like little land snail shells, pecan, beech nut, ground moss. There's all kinds of stuff in here. So it's a little pricey. I think it's about $50 per box, but we've had this for uh, almost probably over four years. And like I guess if you take good care of, of everything, they'll last um, and, and definitely. And the ocean in the box has shells, sponges, algae, hard and soft corals and it even has like a little sea uh, seahorse too. I also love these composition books for younger children where they can draw a picture along with their morning copy work. So but this is all for the first first part of a for our home tour thank you so much for being here thank you so much for coming back again or thank you if you are new and i will um post the second half of this video next week take care bye